<coughs> Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain for you the tools and menu or function that we can do in Microsoft Word. First thing that you need to do is open your Microsoft Word. You can do like choose or you can type in search bar here. Yeah, this is the appearance of our Microsoft Word working working space. In this line, yeah, file, home, insert, it's called menu bar. And every menu bar has different function. For example, for file, we can do like saving, open um, recent work, or we can change the author of a word. You can change anything in this area. Yeah, it's for um, like for example in account setting, we can see the theme and background that we use in our office. And also for option, it has many setting related with our uh, related to our language and other advanced setting as you can see here display we can show the tab characters if we press tab then in our word it will show this kind of row if we press space uh, we will have this kind of characters in our word but yeah, you can you can try it by yourself. But today we are going to learn more about the function of toolbar in Word. First of all, for home menu, we have a lot of uh, tools here, many tools here that you probably most of you already know the function of it. Like in this in this part, we can choose the font style that we want. For example, like this, we were going to write the chapter of our work. What you need to do is type, type it and then block it and change the font style, what you want to um, use in your report. Usually for report, we will use Times New Roman with 12 point, yeah, for the font size, usually we use 12 point, such as like this and 12. Yeah, that's, that's the function of um, the font style. We already changed the font style, but why it's become Calibri again? Because what we did is uh, block our font that we are going to change. But if you want to change whole word, you just can uh, choose all of all of the mm -hmm. yeah, or simply you can press Control and O A, Control all all yeah. You can do press Control plus A in your keyboard, and then choose the font style that you like. Then if you if we press our cursor here, voila. Type is Times New Roman, and this function for making for making the the word become thick, yeah, to change the thickness of a word, like this. Chapter one is bold, and this one is not, and this one for italic to make in italic, yeah, and then for underline, you can press this for strip strips yeah 
and then yeah we still we have a um, formula formula like x sub and x subscribe i'm sorry i need to yes x we want to put like our like the two here is become subscribe but you we are going to do just block anything that you want to make it like smaller in the bottom area just and then just press this and how about uh, superscribe the same way block it and then press superscribe then we have x square yeah x square for this uh -huh. yeah for this uh, toolbar it will give text effect and typography for our words what you need to do just yes the same way just block it and then choose whatever that you like yeah we have a different style here if you need something bigger just press this yeah zoom in to make it bigger in work your working area and then this for our highlighter highlighter how about uh, if we are going to change the color oops change color we can block it and then press color color that we like and then sometimes we 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 made a mistake on um, capital words if you want to change every word in this in this area become all capital what you're going to do just press this and then press uppercase so it will change accordingly if you are going to capital each word you can press this if if you're uh, like sentence like this if you want to change or swap it between capital and small small letter you can just press this to swap it all right yeah usually we, um now yeah, we can go to the next part for this area for paragraph yeah usually in our report we will give numbering in our uh, draft you can make a numbering like this mm -hmm. I, I need to change the color first okay like one and then you can press space and then directly it will give you like numbering numbering list yeah we didn't press it before but it will give you automatically like listing some thing in your word yeah how about point if you want to give ballots a numbering below this this place just press this and then we can press tab yeah uh, the default will give you a kind of um, hmm. like usually we will have a, like the the head is number and then if we press tab the level will give you uh, it will give you another level like a or stuff a I'm sorry a b and if you want a more level you can press tap again and it will give you i i i in romawi in rom in rom yeah in rom style how about numbering uh ballots how about ballots yeah you sometimes you want something like uh only ballots or check or a kind of box just choose whatever you want here 
we can press uh, press bullets like this like circle box or stuff right okay right and how about um, if we want to make change the in the level like for this one we're going to change this a not for this in this level but like in line with this level we were going to make for an a what you're going to do just press this it will change the level if you want to make something become um, the next level just press increase in then so we have something more yeah something more like sub sub chapters if you're going to make in your in your work in your work like this become new like sub chapter of something you just press it twice yeah, like this or simply you can pre uh, choose the multi-level list in this area and then you can change it by using section heading chapter or stuff all right now we are going to explore the function of sorting we have a lot of bullets point we have something list like random list perhaps word sentence article Yes, and we are going to sort it based on the alphabet. So just block this and then press this paragraph and we are going to make it ascending or descending up to you and just press. So we have article A, B, B, S, W, E, C, all right. And what is function of this tool? It will show um, the yeah the, the button that you type before like i press enter in this area what should we do how if we check it just block everything and then press this so it will give you um, the information where you already press your enter button like for uh, this work after i'm um, typing chapter one see you can see this this dot here because I press space how if I press another space we have two dots yes you got it how if I press another space again so three yeah yeah I, I uh, noticed some mistake that student makes if you want to make a chapter in the middle of a page what a student did is like this press space till the chapter uh, is located in the middle what it's so wrong it, no you can do that you can do that what you need to do just yeah just erase this first and then block that um, word that you are going to change or move and then press this we can make an alignment become center so it will go to the center automatically without any space all right how about if we want to put it in the right yeah like this you can see the alignment here uh -huh. and usually for chapter for chapter part we will have in the center in the middle how about the content so usually the content uh, we can um, use like double double alignment yeah um, justify justify in left and right just press this and you will have your work um, neatly I think we can type something I will give you example yeah
Yeah, for example, I already type a paragraph of a novel like this. You can you can notice that mm, this area is really um, in line, in line with yeah, really justify. In left, we have a neat line here, and then also in the right like this. How if we press like in usual like this? Yeah, we don't have a justify line here. Yeah, it changes between the first and second line. How if press this? Yeah, it becomes center. And for the right, uh, this one is not um, really neat, yeah. But in this area, it's neat. Usually for content, we will press this. Yeah. And you can see when I press a space button, it will show like this, like point. Like, yeah, like dot in the middle of the word, yeah, between words. So usually we don't, we don't need to show this in your report. But I will check this. I really don't uh, expect all of you will do like chapter using space like this or tab like this. No, I will expect you to have like um, automatic setting. Just press like this. Yeah. Don't waste your time. All right. I will um, hide it first and then how about the space between list and mm, between the title and the list we notice that it has uh, some spaces between ballots and article so we can if you want to make it tight tight like article become near with ballots what you need to do just press uh, click yeah, put your cursor here and then press this line paragraph spacing and then remove space after a paragraph. So we'll have different um, look, uh, yeah, different space between this and this. All right, did you get it? How if we want to separate between point and sentences? Just press this and then you can add, add space before paragraph. Or remove well it's not working yeah usually it's for paragraph this area is for paragraph how if we want to make the space between word and this paragraph is big um, nearer yeah just go to this and then remove space after paragraph then we have a new space the next thing that I notice in student work is when you made a grammatical error. Microsoft Word is helping to find the typo for you. Like you can see here in my paragraph, I have some kind of this red line under my word. So it shows that um, this word is not correct. So. What is the correct word? Perhaps we don't know how to spell it. Just click the word and then press right click and then choose, ah, I know, renote, right? How about this one? Like done, because I want to write a name of person. Yes, change the color. Why well, it has a red light Let's see what happened if I press this. Cheers. Yeah, usually the capital capital word, yeah, the capital letter will give you an F effect. So it's not it's not really common to write anything like this. Usually we will write like everything in small letter or we have capital letters only in the beginning. Right, how about this one? We have a kind of pain. Yeah, it's shading menu. Shading, give shade to something. Shading, just if I want to make it, uh, the palace become, uh, we'll have shading. Just press this and then give color. Yeah, for the whole line, the whole line. 
how if I would just want to make a, a give color only for article just give highlighter like this highlighter like yes it's working how about this one it's for line does it works for this listing just try border yeah it will give you like a box like border for everything that you write how about paragraph if we press this in paragraph yeah it will give you box in the the whole paragraph because we have listing like this if we um, give border it will give yes yes exactly every cell every line here it will have a bird border mm -hmm. all right i think um that's the end of my first part later we will learn more about this style yeah for uh, this style will help you exactly help you when you are going to make table of contents you don't need to press it to make it um, to make it uh, make it manually no no you can do that you can just press something choose heading and then insert table of content and voila you will have exactly um, table of content that really automatically without any typing all right we will learn about it later in the next chapter all right see you